Greetings and salutations, your average rider here. Let's ride the Honda Ruckus again. Ready, set, go. Whoa, zero to 20 miles per hour in approximately 7.35 seconds. Now there's nothing official about my timing and there's a slight uphill at my start, but still, that gives you a fairly good idea of how fast this ruckus can accelerate with me on it. But that's not what this scooter is about. Once again, I had a great time on it. I passed some bikers, even got some waves back from them. Not all of them, but whatever. They have no idea what they're missing. Trust me, I am all smiles while riding this little scooter. Maybe because it makes me feel like a kid. Maybe because it feels like a toy. Whatever the reason, I like it. The speed limit in the residential areas of my town are 40 kilometers per hour, which is approximately 25 miles per hour. And the main streets have a maximum speed limit of 50 kilometers per hour, about 30 miles per hour. With me on it, it doesn't go much faster than that. I borrowed the ruckus again for about half the day. I was able to get about an hour of riding in I'm using my Insta360 1R camera with the invisible selfie stick to get these shots. It was a beautiful day and I get to show you a little bit of my small town. All this development is new in the last few years. On the south side of town we have this hill. With the help of gravity, I was able to reach speeds I normally can't reach on level ground. The Ruckus is extremely nimble and feels light. It can handle speed bumps at slower speeds and it can easily avoid most speed bumps if you want. I cannot think of a funner vehicle for commuting around a small town such as mine. There is a completely different mindset when you are driving a car or even a motorcycle when compared to the scooter. As much as I enjoy my car, and I truly do, it's still designed to mostly shield me from the outside world. With a plush interior and climate control, even heated seats and air conditioned seats, I'm completely shielded from the outside environment. And with my motorcycle, I just dream of the next big road trip, heading out on the open road, not necessarily running errands. Not to say the motorcycle can't be used for everyday errands and everything else. The scooter just shines in this scenario, especially within a small town. And after my hour of riding, I figured I should put fuel in it for the owner. It cost me all of 66 cents, and I put premium fuel in it. That's almost humorous. And round and round we go. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.